Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to be doing a little freckle moment. I don't know, I think maybe one time, maybe I did a faux freckle look just to try it out. And I realized that I haven't done that in quite, quite some time. And I love seeing other people do it. Like it just looks so beautiful on them. So I just wanted to sit down and do a cute little freckle moment. If you guys want to see how I do it and how to do faux freckles, make sure you keep on watching. Watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified every time I upload. And if you want, check out my social medias. They're here on the page as well as down in the description bar. Let's jump right into the video, guys. So, first things first, let's prime our face. I'm going to go in with this Hydrate and Fix Makeup Revolution Spray. I just, my face is feeling a little tight. So, I want to put a setting spray or kind of like a refreshing mist on my face to prime my face today. Also, if you guys can't tell, I did do my brows off camera just to save us a little bit of time. The next primer that I'm going to go in with, this is the Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. I actually haven't used this in what feels like forever, but it's a really nice hydrating primer. It doesn't leave your skin feeling or looking oily or greasy, but it does give a really nice subtle glow to the skin. For foundation today, I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation. This is a really, really good foundation. It makes your skin look amazing in photography, any type of videos. It's just so such a good foundation and if you're on the market for to get a high-end foundation i recommend this one a lot of youtubers use it a lot of beauty bloggers use it and it's amazing and we're just going to start blending this into the face what i like about this is yes it is a stick foundation but it but it's not hard to blend into the skin some stick foundations are super stubborn and they just they just don't blend well with a beauty blender you're better off blending them with a brush but this foundation is not like that do you guys hear my cat oh my gosh he never stops meowing so as you can see this foundation leaves a really nice finish on the skin of course i didn't put that much on so it's not as full coverage as you can make it be but that's only because i'm gonna go in with some concealer but it just looks so natural on the skin speaking of concealer let's go in with the kylie jenner concealer i haven't used this in quite some time and we're just going to this right under the eyes and on any blemishes that we have which <laughs> it's clear i got a lot what else is new in my life and again we're gonna go in and just blend that out can you guys believe that we're literally halfway through the whole year like i am so baffled that it's already the end of june and like we're about to be in july i feel like this year would never end because of how crazy everything is i hope 2021 is different <laughs> in a better way because i bought a planner for 2020 and i couldn't even use it because i couldn't go out so i hope that in 2021 we can finally go out all right so we have the concealer on you can see the concealer is very highlighting it's very glowy hydrating so that is why i like it for powder we're gonna go in with the morphe translucent setting powder you guys know i love this powder and it's literally like $12 so it is super affordable and we are just going to lightly set the face I don't like to set my face like with a crap ton of powder because my skin is very dry so it will look a little bit cakey if I use too much so I always just do a really light layer and plus like I hate taking away the sheen and shine of my makeup sometimes like I just think it looks more glowy and then you know we go in and we kind of dull that shine and glowiness down with powder and sometimes i don't like that so that's why i only do like the bare minimal amount when it comes to powder for bronzer we're gonna go in with the mark jacobs tantastic bronzer this is so beautiful so expensive but so incredibly beautiful and we are going to bronze up the skin give us a little life back in our face a little color i used to never like be into bronze Bronzing, but let me tell you it makes a world of a difference and now i'm just like how did i live without this like back in the day i, I like i would think to myself 
why would I think it's okay to just put on like foundation powder concealer and not bronze my face not put any blush on not put any highlighter on I would just leave it like that like why did I do that I had no dimension to my face whatsoever I looked like a pale ghost which there's nothing new in my life. I always look like a pale ghost, but like still. Once you realize what blush and bronzer can do for your face and your makeup game, you will never go back. You can see my face already looks skinnier and just more chiseled with the bronzer. So that's why I'm a huge, huge fan of bronzer. It just kind of sucks your face in and makes you look snatched, sister. So now we're gonna go on for blush. You guys know the Catrice X Amon palette. I never stopped using this. And I think today I'm gonna go in with the pink one up here. It's called Shice, Shisa? Sh Shisa? I never really use this color all that much, but today I'm feeling a little risky, so why not? So we're just going to pat this on the skin. I've been trying with my blushes to do more of like a patting motion versus like a rubbing motion because I feel like sometimes I'm too heavy handed and I don't really want to disrupt the makeup underneath. So sometimes you'll see in my videos, I like to just kind of tap product in. And if, you know, my blush is looking a little cray cray, I'll go back in with my bronzer brush and just kind of lightly blend the two together so it's not as harsh or distinctive for highlighter today we're gonna go with the jacqueline cosmetics palette you guys if you never got your hands on this what are you doing with your life i get it not everybody likes jacqueline hill i have a problem with her like she's just a person but even if you don't like somebody and they make products that are as good as this you should still buy it okay this is a really 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 great product it's my favorite product that she's ever launched and at least for mine um it wasn't messed up like i don't think with this highlighter launch she did there was like a lot of mistakes like her other launches like i think this one went really really well so i am incredibly happy that i picked up these items and i suggest anybody who's a highlighter junkie or really into makeup pick up this highlighter palette so i'm going to mix this color right here called gleam and this color called ice and we're just going to apply this right through the face and you guys can already see like how blinding the highlight is like it's so so beautiful it doesn't emphasize your texture either which i love because for me most highlighters do emphasize my texture and it's a deal breaker for me like i can't like i won't wear it if that's what it does so the fact that this goes on so smooth and doesn't emphasize your texture is amazing it's a such a great formula and i'm not even just saying that like it's 100 percent a bomb product i'm gonna do like a very minimal eyeshadow i think honestly like i think i'm just gonna put like a brown in the crease and call it a day because obviously the look we're gonna be doing it's not about the eyes so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take modern renaissance and i'm gonna go in with this shade right here and just put that in the crease a little bit just for some definition and i'm just going to be doing this super lightly because if you can see like if you i basically what i'm doing is i i'm basically contouring my eyelids okay so um you can see that this eyelid is a little bit more structured than this eyelid so that's kind of why sometimes i like to put like a brown in the crease and like nothing else sometimes because it just looks like you're contouring your eyelids kind of like that and then honestly what i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna take the white shade in this palette on my finger and just kind of pat it on the eyes man we're keeping the eyes super simple because i don't want the focus to be on the eyes so that's what we're doing for the eyes. I'm gonna do some mascara and lashes off camera and I will be right back to do the faux freckles. All right, you guys, so we did the lashes and we did the lips. The lashes are from Salon Perfect X Britney Bear Lashes in the style Exotic. And then for the lip, I used a NYX lip liner with the Chris and Dominique Lemonade Lip Gloss. So now we're gonna do the whole point of this video the freckles so i have here the glossier brow flick little felt pens so that's what i'm going to use today for the freckles and i have the shades blonde and brown we'll probably do the brown maybe let's do the blonde first because you know like i have blonde hair so like i don't know if the brown will be too dark for me but just looks like this it's like a felt tip as you guys can see and I'm just gonna kind of dot it and see how it goes.
So this is obviously like way too dark. So I'm gonna go in with Beauty Blender and kind of go over the spots a little bit. I'm a little too heavy handed with this product. Does that look better? Those are just like super hard for me to understand like how to not be so heavy handed when doing it. Does that look good you guys? I can't tell. I'm gonna just leave it at this because like I feel like it kind of does look a little cute in person. You guys can see have little freckles all over the place. I think it's good that I went in with the blonde and not the brown because I think the brown would have been too dark but yeah you guys this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments below what you think and give me some tips and tricks on how to do faux freckles because like i am clearly not the best at it and i don't do it often because i'm not the best at it so let me know what you guys do to kind of make it look a little bit more natural i would love to hear your guys thoughts thank you for watching i love your support it does not go unnoticed and i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye